Hey. hey, what's up dolls? Welcome back to Nicole, of course. As you can see down in that title, today we are doing Padera. Pia Piera. Piara. Piara. <laughs> it is an Italian restaurant and it actually reminds me of noodles. I, we just did this and I still don't remember what the name is. We did. We, anyways. <laughs> you should have it in there. Piara. Padera. Anyways. I'm, I'm going to keep that. Anyways. Anyways, you guys, yeah, it reminds me of like Noodles and Company, um, kind of, but obviously it's like more traditional. Is that what you said? Um, it's more like, like I higher like, scale or something. I don't know. It's kind of like Noodles and Company, basic, but it's not as much variety, really. Yeah, it's kind of just like what is it, like six or eight? It's things? only three pot types of pasta. Oh yeah, and three then, pastas, three wraps, yeah. and three salads. Yeah. And then the drinks. Um, but we're gonna get a thumbnail and pray really quick. Would you wanna do this or? Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we got black raspberry lemonade. I believe that's what it said. It's not sweet, it's good. It's um, not what I thought. Me either. It needs some sugar. Now, if I get the wrong Tabasco, there's three Tabascos here. Mm. One is really, Galvin's, yeah. like his homemade one. One is normal, and one's for the birds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that other one is. <laughs> one is for the birds. So. Wait, so do you want to put some of this in your bowl? What do you mean? Put some of what? Oh, no, actually. Oh, you don't want this one. Oh, yeah, you wanted this one, though, right? It's okay. I'm over here putting all this stuff on here. <laughs> My mom always says that I'd be going, I asked for. Here, I'm just going to take a little. I'll just, I just okay. want to taste it. Okay, just take just my chicken. Oh, no, it's fine. Throw my chicken everywhere. Sorry. That's did you do one? Did you? Yeah, I look like this. Okay. Is the mm -hmm. hot chicken good? Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> she said, she said, root. So, oh, 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 oh. Say, what? It's like Parmesan chicken, like, you know, at noodles. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. They have, I'm gonna go back there and get that. I like that. Their, um. Um. Pesto. Basil pesto? What is it? Yeah, called? basil pesto pasta. Basil. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I got. And these are smalls, so this is actually quite a lot. That's a normal size, like a, I mean, I feel like it's a, a personal size, you know? Yeah. Dang, mm -hmm. what does the regular look like? <laughs> I don't know. Definitely bigger than that. This is um better than what I remember being. Mm-hmm. You want to try that? Mm-hmm. So. It's an avocado wrap. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take a small one. Okay. Because I don't want that. That much. I we wanted this one because well I wanted this one because it has bacon in it. Um it smells like bacon in there, so I was craving it. My Alfredo has bacon in it. Mm-hmm. And then I added steak. You can get steak, chicken. This um, is bacon steak. avocado with corn in it. It looks good. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Mm. I'm glad we added those other two um, things. It's very good. Who's that? Mm. My parents That's good. Yeah, I like this place. I would definitely go here again. Probably for Dalvin's channel. Mm. And they did have a catering menu as well, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to ask about those, um, those breadstick looking things. Mm. I was gonna ask how much those were. Those are good. 
We have one filled with pepperoni, one filled with parmesan. I forgot what the other one is. Mm. I think I've seen like garlic. Mmm. Well, I think that was the parmesan one. Garlic oh. parmesan. Oh, mm. yeah. Makes sense. Did you know? I can't find a noodles and company around here. Mm hmm. Well, you can lose. Yeah. This is like my um my makeup for it or whatever it's called. What is it called? My substitute. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Caramel salted cookie. A lot of places sell this brand. Um, Sweet Street. If any place you go to has Sweet Street brand cookies, delicious. Where else did I go to after these? I don't know. I've never seen that before. I don't know. But I had that exact cookie and it's delicious. Did you heat yours up? Um, no, and it still was delicious. Yeah. much loves we are just really hungry and yeah we just got done finishing finished um my fashion nova haul so we're like hmm. no less talking more eating <laughs> i can make this at home <laughs> so you know my thing mm -hmm. so. i actually don't like um well, not that I don't like angel hair, mm -hmm. um, but I would prefer like the big like tube noodles. Oh really? Mhm. Mm what are those called? Pen penne noodles. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm or like the bow ties. Those are my favorite. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. It's the same thing, but yeah. <laughs> you know. What to shape like cars? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Actually, when I buy mac and cheese, I get the kid one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I get the kid kind that are like, you know, like rainbows and unicorns, or they're like the movie Cars or whatever that movie's out, or mm -hmm. you know, character. I like those. <laughs> I'm a kid at heart for sure. <laughs> I'm sure I ever buy pasta at the store. No? Mm-mm. Mm. Well, that's also being a likable mukbanger. Usually you're eating on... Yeah. Eating out. Literally, when they came, our refrigerator was empty. Like, just drinks mainly. Because we eat out every single day, so we don't right. have to do much grocery shopping. Because you're doing mukbang. But now that everybody's here, it's packed mm -hmm. with like our leftover mukbang food or if right. we just go grab something when we're hungry late at night. It's so funny <laughs> how like night and day it can be. <laughs> Dang, I'm stuffing my face. <laughs> no, that's good. You don't, you barely eat. Not in a bad way. She said... Um, what do you say? It's night and day and I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's noodles coming out of my mouth. Mm. I like this place. I'm going too fast, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. No, but this is definitely better than what I thought it was going to be. Last time I had, it was still good the last time I had it, but it wasn't as good as... Mm, maybe it was good. I, don't, I haven't had it in a long time. Did you get the same thing the last time? Mm-hmm. Can I have the um, Tabasco sauce? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. And we did it on a video too. With your mom? Mm hmm. But this was like this was last summer, I think. Oh, it was a while ago. Yeah. 
But I don't remember being that good that that time. Maybe because we definitely added seasonings for the girls. <laughs> um, because um, it was kind of bland mm -hmm. when the first. I remember that's how I remember being bland when I just kind of like I like to think of it as like not bland, but like an open an open slate for you to add in what you want. Okay. So be creative for yourself. Because I want to drag you out. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, um, I added a whole bunch of, you know, stuff in it, and I wasn't able to do that last time because we got, we did a carb in my thing. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. It's totally different. Ooh. I really like it with the Tabasco. Oh, it yeah. really brings out the flavor. Pasta, I mean, mm. for me, pasta is a mandatory with, with, um, Tabasco. It really gives you some good taste. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And they give you quite a, a good amount of meat. Mm -hmm. Like my bowl is filled with, you know how usually they'll give you like four pieces? Mm -hmm. I still have plenty of steak left. My, um, I always get so much meat. Or I always ask for meat to add to it, and then I never eat it at the end. Like, cause it's, it's always at the bottom. I'm just like, I don't want just meat. Mm -hmm. I'm a very, even though that's really that's rare. That's the opposite. Usually people be like, oh my gosh, all this meat. Right. <laughs> and I like that. I need my stuff with the pasta, so I end up having a lot of meat at the end. Mm -hmm. This avocado sandwich is actually it's it's like sweet too. It's good. I have to take another bite. <laughs> but you know I love my pastas. I think yeah. the avocados are like, they're sweet or something. It's really good. I think they're here. At the end, yeah, it does become like too much meat. And then I can see where you're saying, like, you don't mm -hmm. want it. You don't want it anymore. Right. You better have news left. Mm-hmm. I think I like it just as much as I like my pasta. Mm-hmm. This is a very good meal. I actually made tacos earlier in the day, and that's what everybody did a mukbang on while we were doing the fashion alcohol. Well, we were going to do that, but... Well, I'm going to switch it up. So if you have a piata near you, I didn't know there was piatas down here. I thought it was only because I had never seen it in Wisconsin either. The only one I saw was in Ohio. I didn't even know what that was. So I guess it's a chain. And when usually when you have a chain where it's, that's like far, like you see two of them and they're really far apart, that they probably are other places too. Hmm. Cause like the fact that it's in South Lebanon, Ohio. And also Houston, they probably have a lot more chains other places. Mm. I feel like Milwaukee is um, late on getting things. <laughs> like we just have like the basic things and that's it. Yeah, but when they add it, for some reason, I'm, I still to this day have not found a place like Great Mac. Hmm? And I don't even think we ever did a video on that. It was kind of like when we left. Well, you didn't, you weren't gone yet, obviously from Wisconsin when we left. But um, Great Mac, it's on. Um, 84th. Oh, that new mall that they built? Strip know. mall? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's a mac and it's cheese. It's by Portillo's, mm -hmm. kind of. I wanted to try that place. They have one in the Dallas. It's... Is it? They really kill it. It's like an Instagram kind of like... Mm. 
Mm. Um, the reason why I say Instagram is because it's very like surreal. Like the places where you would, you're never around them. Like you're never by the place. They look so good, but you're mm. never able to get them. Cause it's, it's macaroni and cheese as a base, but they have literally like 12 or 15 different types of macaroni and cheese. They have street corn mac and cheese and it's just, they come in a skillet and it's just like, it has like street corn with like, it's so good. And then they have a pizza one, a baked potato one. And like, there's so many different types or whatever. And they just are like, they just have, they have caramelized cheese on the top. It's just really good. Mm. And it comes in a skillet. I'm gonna uh, have to try that. And the pizza one is just, Amazing. Have you ate there more than once? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've eaten there more than once. Um, Wait, so they do have it in Ohio, or it's mm -mm. only in Milwaukee? No, it's only in Milwaukee. They they had just opened it the summer that I was leaving. Okay. Um. Hmm. So I only had it two or three times. And there was also a Zupa place or something. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And like, that I used to get something from there, and that place was delectable too. It's they like kind of low key. It's not like mainstream. I think it's yeah. It's not. It's not a mainstream. In like Ohio, brand. right? No, it's in um. Oh, it's a, It's right next to Great Mac. It was oh. in, that whole. They were putting a whole bunch of restaurants over there. Mm. And they um. It was the same kind of uh. What I'm trying to say. It was the same. They were just trying to put a whole bunch of restaurants over there. They did Portillos. I'm not really. If we want to talk about the unpopular opinions for the girls. I'm not really big on Portillo's. I don't uh, think it's I, like. I only been there like once or twice, but I didn't get the classic Italian. Right, Italian beef. Yeah. I don't really like. First of all, They're good everybody knows. <laughs> like, first of all, I've done this in a while. Let me get my hair up for the girls. Let me say something. What do you mean they're gonna come for me? I don't care. <laughs> Anyways. I'm just really, really not big on um, beef okay. or like meat. Does that make sense? Like I, I feel like people know this. I'm, I do like meat. I don't think I could live without, I couldn't be a vegetarian. But like Is there's something just, wrong with the fact that I can't eat the bottom of this chicken. Yeah. Like I feel like that normal people would just be like, oh my gosh, all this chicken's left, let me eat it. I'm very picky with my meats. Like if I'm eating, it just has to be real, I'm so busy. <laughs> It has to be screen. The chicken have to, the chickens have to have a certain education level. <laughs> they need to go to school. Straight A's. Like no, it's not, it's yeah. not that. But I just mean, I, mm, and be, like I'm really keen on. I'm more leaning on chicken. Like there's something with their chicken that I don't like, which is the reason why I haven't liked it. If we're being really honest, so, like it's like a, it's fine. But if I'm not eating it with the pasta, I can't do it. Like couldn't couldn't just eat it by itself because it's like a. It's like harder. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Which is there. It's really pulling teeth. I'm being very picky. Like people are like, girl, you tried it. That's what they're, they're gonna be so saying. So the sandwich is it like just too much in a sandwich to eat? Oh, um, yes. If I'm eating big, big, it's just too much beef. I don't want any like beef flavor. It's not like mm. great. To, like I was watching a video on like how to make the perfect Philly cheesesteak, and one and the guy was talking about some. Oh yeah, you should get this. Um, or he was like, the the we don't add any seasonings to the meat because we want to taste the beef. And I was like, <laughs> I don't want to taste the beef. I, like the beef flavor is so good. Like, mm -mm. Mm. and like I wouldn't. I refuse to eat bacon whether it's on. I refuse to eat bacon on a pizza whether it's frozen or if it's in from Domino's or something. Like Bacon is not good on pizza. The bacon that they use, I don't know if they think they can get away with a cheaper cut of bacon. <laughs> that bacon be nasty. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That bacon be nasty. Do not get bacon from Sam's Club on their pizza. Do not. Don't do it. Don't do get. Don't get the meat lovers pizza. Don't get the meat lovers pizza. So wait, let me ask you this. Can you do pineapples on your pizza? I can. You can? For a certain period of time. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I like pineapples. I didn't. On my I pizza. don't. Don't. Act, I'm not for the girls. I am for the girls, but for not every single time. Not. I, no. It's not even that. Not. I can do it every single time, but I can only do two slices every single time. Okay. Or three, I cannot eat a full pizza that mm -hmm. has pine. It just becomes too sweet at that point. At uh -huh. this point, I'm getting having a dessert. But I can eat. I like the sweet and salty combination. Yeah. But mm, so. <laughs> Whatever, but I, I can. Do, it's fine. I, it's not nasty, but it just becomes too much after a long, a long period of time. Yeah. Um. So that's my pick, picky eating, guys. I just can't do meat all like that. That's why I don't really like Portillos because 
it's so focused around meat like that. Yeah. I mean, I like meat as far as like ribs and stuff like that, but I don't know. I haven't actually tried Portillo's Italian beef. My mom I actually got loves it. that place. It's good. It's not bad. I actually got it the other day when I was in Arizona. Not the other day. Um, uh, the other month when I was in Arizona. Um, I ended up getting it. And it was it was good. Hmm. So it's not horrible. I just am not big on meat like that in general. I don't know why. It's interesting. Um, Do you know how long this has... No, but I can check because it's on the other side of the thing. Okay. Ow, my ankle. It's 20 minutes. Okay. So you guys, this mukbang is just cutting it short because we did one, rushed and did one yeah. before Dalvin came back with his food. He planned to do a mukbang before us and we just went in front of him. So this is just going to be cut short, but I wanted to get as many videos as I can yeah. with Darius because I know you guys like this combination. So I really hope you enjoyed this mukbang. Definitely if you have a Padilla near <laughs> you. <laughs> Padilla. <laughs> what is it? Padilla? Padilla. No. <laughs> Pada. Dia. No. <laughs> Piata. Piata. Like piñata. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Nicole. Piata. But if you guys have a padilla near you, <laughs> like, you change your name every single time. What was I watching that was really funny? Oh my gosh. And he just kept on changing that lady's name. And I was going, oh, I was I was watching the Book of Mormon. It was a um it was a play, a musical at my, my school they were going going and they just could not figure out this girl's name at all. <laughs> And they're and, uh, they calling her all types of names with that started with Z, but it was just really funny. Um, it's Piata. Piata. Um, Go check it out if one is by near your house. Yes. And yeah, where can they find you at? Darius underscore Gaskin on Instagram and just Darius on YouTube. Not just there. I always say just Darius. I know. Just Darius. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the time you like, I can't find you. Just, yeah, it, Darius. That's what it is. Darius. Period. No, not a period, but yeah. Okay, you can find me on YouTube at Nicole, of course, and on Instagram at well, of course. Ah, I said that wrong. Anyways, you guys know. <laughs> and on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, it's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. We're going to end this off, you guys. I love everybody. I love you, 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 and you. Make sure you smash that like button and leave a whole bunch of comments. Bye. Bye.